Now, looking at the gloves in uh, Exhibits 54 and 55, are, is it your testimony that those gloves were given you by an electrician? No. Okay. Uh, do you know if they were? Uh, I would say no, these. I would say no. Okay. Those were gloves that you knew that you owned yourself, correct? Well, I'm saying I know the electrician didn't get me these. However you got those gloves, those were gloves that were yours and remained yours, correct? I believe so, yes. I'm talking about the gloves in 54 and 55. I would think Exhib so, yes. Same thing for Exhibit 56. The gl black gloves you were in Exhibit 56 were gloves that you owned, correct? I would think so, yes. <clears throat> and uh, the black gloves in Exhibit 56 are not gloves you got from an electrician, correct? I would believe they're not. Okay. Mm, I now, don't think so. They, they were pretty beat up. Now, looking at the gloves in um, Exhibit 54 the, and 55, the brown gloves, yes. can you tell me where you got those gloves? No. Can you tell me how you got those gloves? No. Can you tell me in what city you obtained those gloves? No. In what store? No. Can you tell me um, how much they cost? No. Can you tell me when you acquired them? No. How you acquired them? No. Can you tell me where they are now? No. Well, are they in your closet? No, I, don't, I haven't seen them. No. Have, you, have you checked? No. Why not? Because I assume the police checked. Did the police find them? I don't know. As of June 12, were those gloves in your closet? And, and you're talking about <clears throat> in Los Angeles, correct? Anywhere. I don't know. Why don't you know? Because I wasn't looking for gloves on June 12th. So as of June 12th, you were not looking for gloves on June 12th? No, the weather here was very good. As of June 12th, 1994, do you know where the gloves that are depicted in the exhibits 54 and 55 were located? No. If they were located in Rockingham, they would be in the areas you previously described on the second floor, in or near your bedroom, correct? I would imagine so, yes. Do you know what size those gloves are in exhibits 54 and 55? No. Did you own gloves like the gloves depicted in 60, exhibits 54 and 55? on or about June 12, 1994? I don't know. Why don't you know? Because I wasn't looking for gloves. Well, but did you know whether or not, as of June 12, 1994, you owned gloves like the ones in exhibits 54 and 55? No, I don't know. Can you positively say that you did not own those gloves as of June 12, 1994? No. Can you? Tell us where you got the glove, de the gloves depicted in Exhibit 56. No. Can you tell us how you got them? No. When you got them? No. Where you got them? No. Can you tell us who gave them to you? No. Tell somebody gave them to you. Can them. you tell, tell me if you bought them, where you bought them? No. How much you paid? No. Can you tell me where they were located as of June 12, 1994? No. Can you tell me um, if they were at Rockingham, would they be in the uh, areas that you described at or near your bedroom? I would assume so. Okay. Uh, did you own gloves? Well, did you own those gloves depicted in Exhibit 56 as of June 12, 1994? I don't know. Did you own gloves? like the ones in Exhibit 56 as of June 12, 1994? I don't know. Can you positively say you did not own the gloves depicted in Exhibit 56 as of June 12, 1994? No. Did you own more than one pair of gloves as of June 12, 1994? Excuse me? Assume. 
So I can't assume. So I don't know how to answer that. You don't know whether you owned one, more than one pair of gloves as of June 12, 1994? Well, you told me not to assume, so I can't. Do you I, believe I you did? Yes. Okay. And do you believe that you owned uh, more than one pair of gloves as of June 12, 1994, like the ones depicted in Exhibit 54 and 55? Yeah. Like them? Yes. Brown leather gloves. Or black gloves. Yes. And like the black gloves depicted in 56? Yes. A lot of free legal advice. And you were critical of me for passing notes yesterday. Come on. Well, I'm not. No one said it was free, Dan. Oh, okay. I don't know why he's getting Mr. Simpson, um, do you do you know what sizes um, the gloves are in the exhibit depicted in exhibits 54 and 55? No. Extra large? I don't know. That was your normal size, right? For gloves of the type depicted in exhibit 54 and exhibit 55. Mm, I can't say that. I can't answer that. No. Why not? Because I don't know what the gloves were. You like tight-fitting gloves, didn't you? Not necessarily, no. But for use in work, you did. Not necessarily. I like warm gloves. Warm gloves and gloves yeah. that fit snugly, correct? Mm, well, you don't. You want them to fit, yes. You don't want gloves for purposes of work when you're holding a microphone and so forth that are loose and you can't get sufficient dexterity, correct? Well, if they're not warm. I don't, I don't want to wear them. But you're not going to wear big loose gloves that are warm, right? I have, yes. But you normally didn't, right? <laughs> I wore warm gloves. We wore warm gloves that fit snugly, right? If they fit, they fit. If they don't fit, they don't fit. I don't know. Seems what like I've heard means. that before. Yeah. Then you no, must have quit. Then you must have quit. Yeah. I have a different theory about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> those gloves that uh, you see in exhibits 54 and 55 fit you, correct? They appear to, yes. And the glove in uh, 50, Exhibit 56 fit you, correct? Better, it appears, yes. What, were the, what was the size in Exhibit 56? I don't know. What's your best uh, estimate? XL, double XL. XL means extra large, correct? Yes, double and XL means double, double XL. Double extra large. Yes. And what about the uh, glove sizes in Exhibit 54? It would be 55? my same uh, guess. X, extra large or double extra large? Yes. Now, why double extra? Because some gloves I have to wear double XL. I'm sorry. Because some gloves I have to wear double XL. XL. Which gloves? Golf gloves. Golf gloves. Yes. Okay. Let me show you. Um, has the next exhibit in order. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Just, just move the top end a little bit. Take it. Picture of some gloves at the uh, that are currently in the possession of um, LAPD SID Scientific Investigation Division. And same thing with exhibit. Fifty-eight, yes. Fifty-eight. 
Is this black or brown? Same thing with Exhibit 59. These are all pictures of gloves at SID. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I get you? And same thing with Exhibit 60. Exhibit 63. And uh, Exhibit 64. Mr. Simpson, I've shown you exhibits uh, 57 through 64, which are copies of photographs um, in the possession of LAPD's SID taken from your residence at Rockingham. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize uh, these gloves? From the pictures, yes. They are gloves that you owned as of June 12, 1994, correct? Well, I recognized them from seeing them in court. I would not have any independent rec recognition of these gloves if I hadn't seen them in court and it was purported that they were mine. In other words, as of uh, June 12, 1994, um, you, you owned these gloves, but you didn't have any particular recollection of them, is that right? As of June 12, I had no recollection of them. They showed them to me in court and uh, said they were from my house. And, yeah. But looking at the gloves, you don't have any reason to, to believe that they were not your gloves, correct? Correct. Okay. And do you see that the sizing of these gloves is extra large? Yes. Well, the sizing of these gloves, I see it on one. Which one, Mr. Baker? They're on the back. Um, okay, thank you. I see it on 58, but I don't see it on anything else. If I may miss it, Mike. 57. Yeah. Okay, I think that shows the same glove, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shows the same glove, at least it would so appear. And where where um, were these gloves maintained at your house in Rockingham? Do you know? No. If I had to guess, no, you don't want me to guess. Do you know where you um, got each of these pairs of gloves? No. Uh, do you know how you got them? No. Do you know the manufacturer of them? No. Do you know when you got them? No. Do you know whether you used any of these gloves for work? you know how old each of these pairs of gloves is? No. Okay. okay. Are these, um, all the gloves, well, withdrawn? Can we take a short break? Yes. I, I do need to. Can I correct something on the record also? Sure, go ahead. My son kept ski clothes at my house also, so there is a possibility that those which appear to be ski clo clo gloves could have possibly been a pair of his. 
Can you look through the uh, photographs and tell me which ones you're referring to, Mr. Simpson? Mm -mm. The ones that look more like ski gloves. But they, these could be, well, too. I, I, don't I don't know. Uh, All of I'm embarrassed All of to them. say that I don't know what ski gloves yeah. look like because okay. I'm not a skier. But Mr. Baker is pointing to exhibits. Yeah. Uh, I would say all of them. I'd, all of them could be, most be. people. Well, Mr. Yeah. Baker pointed to 62 and 65. Well, now, are you saying, Mr. Simpson, all of the gloves are ski gloves? They could, could be, yes. yes. So you're saying none of these gloves was yours? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there's a possibility that they could be my son's, and there's obviously, they could be mine. I don't they know. They could be yours, right? Very well could be. You don't know for house. a fact that they're your son's, right? No. Okay. I just want to alert you that there is that possibility, but they are... Well, as Mr. Closet, Baker has reminded us, anything is possible. We can take a break now. Okay. So you're going off the mission now in the time of the clock. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. Listen, Mr. Simpson, off, off the record, uh, I pre-marked exhibit 65 through 70. Mm -hmm. uh, you have those photographs in front of you. They are uh, pictures of what? Uh, this looks like... Uh, what, what has been described as a watch cap, uh, all blue or black, and this appears to be, well, those, I yeah, don't know if you two, said both names. Yeah, it looks like two different watch caps here? Yes. Okay. Um, exhibits 68, 69, and 70 are a blue watch cap. Yeah. And 66. Blue or black, I guess. I can't tell. And 65, 66, 67 appear to be like a black and white watch cap. Yeah, or okay. blue and white, one of them. Uh, these uh, I will represent to you were uh, pictures taken of watch caps at the uh, LAPD's SID mm -hmm. uh, facility, apparently taken from your home. Do, do you own these two watch caps? Um, hmm. I can't. I don't know. As of June 12, 1994, did you own the watch caps depicted in these uh, in exhibits 65 through 70? You know, I don't know. Did you own watch caps as of June 12, 1994? Um, we get to that. Uh, you don't want me to assume thing, or we get to that. So I don't know. Well, when you say assume, um, do you believe you had hats of the sort or caps of the sort depicted in Exhibit 65 through 70 as of June 12, 1994? I, I would imagine so. And where would they have been um, kept at your house at Rockingham? In a ski closet. And where is that ski closet? Outside of my main closet. Is that where the ski clubs also would have been? Yes. And uh, do you wear uh, hats or caps such as these depicted in Exhibit 65 through 70 for skiing? When I skied, yes. Uh, as of June of 1994, were you still skiing? No. When did you stop skiing? use of watch caps, um, of your watch caps, did you make uh, from the time you stopped skiing through June of 1994? When you say my watch caps, these aren't all my watch caps, I don't think. Y y these are not yours? That's a girl's watch cap there. How can you tell? The color. I believe it's Nicole's. You recognize it as Nicole's? I know she had one like that, yes. You, for the record, you are... You're referring to exhibits uh, 65, 66, and 67. And uh, with reference to 68, 69, and 70, what use did you make of that watch cap from the time you stopped skiing in the late 80s until June of 1994? I don't know if this is my watch cap, but... Uh I didn't make use of any watch cap in that period of time. The watch caps like the one in exhibit 69, 60, I keep missing the first one, 68 through 70 that you did have as of June of 1994. What use were you making? <clears throat> if I had a watch cap at this time, no use. It was just in your closet or your ski drawer? Ski closet. Ski closet. Yes, with all the other ski clothes that I was making no use of. 
But you can't say uh, for positively that you did not have uh, the ski cap, uh, the watch cap identified in Exhibit 68 through 70, correct? Correct. What size? Um, what size hat did you wear in June of 1994? I don't know. What size watch cap did you wear? I don't know. Do you have a general sense of what size your you wore for hats or caps in June of 1994? Large. You have a large head. Yes. Do you have a nickname as a result of having a large head? I had one. What was it? Headquarters. Excuse me? Headquarters. Headquarters. When did you have that nickname? As a, as a kid. And what was, uh, and what's, in terms of numbers, like size 10, size 8, size 9, what size hat uh, do you wear? I don't know. Have any uh, estimation of that, Mr. Simpson? No. Can you tell by looking at Exhibit 68 uh, through 70 whether um, that's the size of hat that you wear? No. Does size eight and a half seem right to you? <laughs> yeah. Is that no, a size eight? That's eight and a half inches. Is that how they do it? I don't know. I don't either. No. I don't think so because it's one too size fit all. <laughs> it seems too logical. <laughs> okay, here you go. Did you own any um, dark sweat suits as of June of 1994? No. None at all? None. You're positive? Yes. Why? Because I didn't wear sweat suits. So you owned none at all? Correct. What do you, what do you uh, consider to be a sweat suit? So sweat suit. Sweat pants. Uh, classic sweat pants. Classic sweat shirt. What clothing did you wear in June of 1994 for exercising? Mm, I wore tight, what they call, they look like bicycle pants. Spandex? Spandex, yes. Spandex shorts. What uh, long pants, if any, did you wear for exercising? I didn't. At no time? No. Did you wear any um, exercise clothes on your exercise video that you made in May of 1994? <laughs> I believe so. What did you wear? Whatever they gave me. What did they give you? I don't recall. Was it long pants or short pants? I believe they were short pants. Did you wear any long pants? I don't recall. Whatever they gave you, did you keep? No. You gave it back to them? Yes, I believe so. And to whom did you give it back? Whoever was in charge of wardrobe and stuff okay. there. As of June of 1994, did you own any uh, athletic wear dark in color long pants i don't know what you mean by athletic wear anything like he said that he used anything you would work out with or participate in athletic events or sports as opposed to slacks you would wear to go someplace excluding golf clothes i assume i think we can exclude golf okay. because you wear kind of normal slacks for golf no, it's absolutely obligatory that you wear the ugliest pants ever made. Okay. He doesn't, but you a don't lot of golfers do. Well, I just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Do um, you, you understand? Can you differentiate between golf pants and other athletic pants? Yes. Okay. Well, put aside golf pants. Did you own any uh, dark athletic pants? Not that I'm aware of. No, no long athletic wear type pants at all? Not that I'm aware of. When you say not that you're aware of, you could have owned some such pants but not be aware of it? Yes. And how could that have happened? It's like all the ski clothes. I have no idea what's in that ski closet, but you guys pulled some caps and some uh, some gloves from there. I wouldn't have known because I haven't looked in that closet in years. Okay. By the way, we didn't pull this. This was well, whoever did. taken from your home by the LAPD. Yes. And. Um, Hey, by the way, just, uh, can we get a stipulation on at least these golf clubs back? Ooh. 
I guess we can talk about that. I don't know where they are. I, I do. They're in evidence, I think, right? They're not at S they're not at the LAPD SID. I think they're in uh, they're a trial court exhibit. Yeah. Um, anyway. Those are good Callaway golf clubs? Yes. In evidence? I guess so. I'd like to have them though. Um let me ask you a question about those golf clubs. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take a couple hours, Bob. When you last saw those golf clubs um, is when you packed them, right? What do you mean, the clubs? Yeah. Yes. And that was on the evening of June 12, 1994, right? Mm, yes. When you put the golf clubs in the golf cover bag. It's the last time you, you, you saw those golf clubs, correct? The clubs, yes. And uh, when that bag, uh, that bag was checked in at the airport to go onto the airplane, right? Yes. And when you arrived in um, Chicago, you were picked up by uh, a Hertz representative named Merrill, correct? Correct. And uh, you knew Merrill from before, right? No. Okay. How did you know his name was Merrill when I just said it? Because uh, he was in court. So Merrill picked up your uh, golf clubs and, and you and the rest of your luggage and put it all in his trunk, right? Mm, yes. And what happened to, uh, to, they took you right to O'Hare Plaza? If that was a hotel, yes. And then when you got out, uh, what luggage came out with you? My grip, my Louis Vuitton bag, and my suit. And w you left the golf clubs, right? Yes. And in the golf clubs was that blue grayish bag that you had already consolidated, right? I assume so, yes. And where did you understand the golf clubs were going? Well, they would have eventually been on my golf cart uh, when we started to play golf. What time was your tea time? I don't know. Roughly? Noon. Where? I don't know. How, how were you going to find out where to go to play golf? He was going to pick me up and take me. What time did you uh, set for him to pick you up? 10.30 or 11, I'm not sure. The next morning? Yes. You were going to sleep for? Well, that morning. I, I morning didn't get of June 13th. Until, yeah, I didn't get there to six something, so. To the hotel, so. Six something Chicago time, right? Yes, yes. So. And you were going to sleep for a while? Yes. And then he was going to pick you up? Yes. You were going to leave the rest of your luggage at the hotel and come back, right? No. You were going to take it all with you? Yes. And then after golf, you were going to an event that evening? Yes. At, near, at the country club where the golf course is? I believe so, yes. And then the plan was to, um, he didn't find Mike Ditka to come back to, to L.A. that evening, right? Yeah, if I didn't get into another golf game, I would have come back to L.A. that evening. And you had a reservation, correct? On the plane, yes. What time that evening? I don't know. I don't recall. Okay. And what instructions did you give Merrill to do with respect to your golf clubs? None. Uh, did you understand that Merrill knew what to do? Yes. How did you know that? Well, he was going to pick me up the next day. We oh. going to the golf course. So, I see. You know. So you understood that when Merrill picked you up, the clubs would still be in his trunk? Yes. And the same car? Yes. How did you know that would be the same person picking you up at the uh, at the hotel? He told me. He said, Mr. Simpson, I'm going to be the same person picking you up? Yes. If he told you he some other person was going to pick you up, would you have then taken your clubs with you? More than likely, yes. Unless he was going to the golf course, okay. and he could have taken them there. Where did you understand Merrill was headed during the time you were sleeping? Home. When Did you call Merrill? Uh, the next morning to tell them to tell Merrill not to pick you up? No. Did you have someone do so for you? No. Uh, do you know whether Merrill came to pick you up? I believe he was on his way. On his way when? That morning. When what? When mm -hmm. you left the hotel? Yes. Uh, did you get any instructions to Merrill uh, that you were leaving unexpectedly? Yes. How did you get those instructions to him? By calling. Where did you call him from? The hotel. Before you checked out? Yes. And so you, and where did you reach Merrill? I believe at his home. How did you get his phone number? He left it with me. And why did he do that? In case there's something came up, I guess. Like what? I don't know. You told Merrill that if something uh, came up, you would want to be able to get in touch with him? No. And then you got his phone number, right? No. You didn't get his phone number? He gave me his phone number or it was in my travel file, one or the other. Well, before this occasion, had you ever seen Merrill before? No. Had you ever had his uh, number before? No. 
So you got Merrill's phone number for the first time uh, in the in the car, right? It's standard. Whoever I'm dealing with, they leave numbers for me. Yes. Home numbers. Whatever numbers, whoever I'm dealing with. Yes. Did um, what kind of car was it? Uh, some type of truck. You mean like a Bronco truck? Yeah. A utility vehicle? Yes. It wasn't a limousine, in other words, right? Or a stretch or a sedan? Yes. None of those, right? None of those. Uh, when you got to um, Chicago, you went down to pick up your luggage, right? Mm, yes. In, at O'Hare? Yes. And you did you make any phone calls before you got to the uh, luggage place? No. Like any phone calls from the phone booth? No. And when you went there, did, did you go to where the luggage comes down? Yes. And you waited for your luggage? Yes. Anybody wait with you? He did. Merrill was there? Yes, and then a couple of people were hanging around. Merrill meet you at the gate? Yes. Okay. Give autographs? Yes. And how many? I don't know. Before you got in the car from the time you got off the plane, how many did you give? I don't know. And can you identify anybody you spoke to? Yes. Who? Howard Bingham. After you got off the plane? I believe we spoke in the area. Baggage yes. area? I believe so, Did yes. you walk down to the area with him? Uh, in the whole plane was walking down to the area, so I, I, I don't recall. Who's Howard Bingham? A photographer. Uh, a friend of yours? We're friendly, yes. How long have you known uh, Mr. Bingham? Years, I don't know. Forever, it seems. You ever take pictures of you? I'm not sure. Who's he a photographer for? Muhammad Ali. Anyone else? That I know of, no. Okay. And uh, you chatted with him? I believe so, yes. When the uh, baggage came, anybody else, by the way, that you can identify that you spoke no. to? No. When the baggage came, did you pick it up off the carousel? I might have, or he might have. He being? Merrill, and I, and I can't recall if a baggage guy was there or not. I, I don't recall. Okay. And when the baggage got off, did you pick, pick any of it up yourself? I don't recall. I'm sure I carried something, but I don't know which, what. Where was the car? Right out front. Was anyone in it? No. Just there parked? Yes. What did you carry to the car? I, I don't recall. My grip for sure, and I don't know if I grabbed a Louis Vuitton bag or just kept the suit and he grabbed them. I don't recall. The two of you carried all the luggage? Yes. No cart? Yes. Did you do any luggage shifting or changing or con consolidation? No. When you got to the limousine, oh, what went where? Limousine. I'm sorry. When you got to the uh, uh, the vehicle, what went where? I think everything went in the back. Except your grip? Mm, I think everything went in the back. You sat in the front seat? Yes. Did you have your cell phone with you? I don't think so. Did you make any phone calls? No. Did, was there a phone in the car? I don't recall. How long was the drive to the air, to the hotel? Not long. When did you ask for the phone number? What do you mean? He Merrill's. Never, he never asked, I never asked for, for the phone when number. When did you receive the phone number? If it wasn't already in my folder, he gave it to me. How would it already have been in your folder? Kathy's very efficient, and normally all that information is in my folder, and whatever letters he had previously written to Kathy, I think a copy of one of those letters uh, was in the folder, too, my travel folder. Where is that folder? I don't know. Did the uh, police take it? I don't think so. Did you see it in court? No. What did you do with it in Chicago? What do you mean? L let me ask you this. Did you come back with that folder? I'm sure it was there, yeah. Where do you keep that folder when you're traveling? Or where in did you grip. keep it? In your grip? Yeah. What is it, like a book? No. It's a, you know, every, every trip I take, as you saw with the uh, calendar, it's your fax a calendar and whatever correspondence has to do with that event put it in a manila envelope, state my tickets there, so that I'll know what the heck I'm doing. Did you have a phone book with you to give you names of people Pardon? carried with you in your grip, a telephone book? My normal telephone book, yeah. You carried that with you? I always do, yeah. Had names of people that you would call from out of town? You mean names of my friends? Yes. Yes. And others, correct? Yeah. Now, when you, uh, when you got to the, when you got in the car, uh, what did you tell Merrill about the, is that it, Mr. Baker? Yes. That, that, that's the travel folder? No, this folder? is travel This folder. is my <laughs> travel folder where I'm supposed to be today. Thank you very much. Okay. I was hope, hoping you could help us out there. Um, what did you and Merrill talk about on the way to the hotel? 
I don't recall. Okay, but you made sure you had his home phone number, right? No. But you had it, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Merrill told you he would pick you up the next day around, or later that day around 10.30 or so, right? Yes. Did you, did you tell you where he was going to take you? I assumed to the golf course. Okay. Um, did he tell you what would happen uh, to the car, where the car would be during the intervening four hours? No. Did you discuss with Merrill where he was going? No. After he dropped you off? No. Did you know that he was going home? I assumed he was, yes. Did you discuss that he was? We may, he may have said he was going to get some sleep. What, what did Merrill do for a living? I gather he worked for Hertz. Did you ask for his work number? No. Did you have it? I'm sure it would have been in my folder, yes. Did you know where Merrill was going to be during the intervening four hours? No. When uh, he picked you up, uh, well, did he pick you? He did not pick you up because he, you, you called him, right? Yes. And you reached him at his home? I, I believe so, yes. What did you tell him? I told him I had needed to get back to the airport and could he come get me. What did he say? He was on his way. What, and how long did it take for him to get there? I don't know. Did he get there? No. Why not? Because I saw some other Hertz people there when I was in the lobby and they took me to uh, the airport. Did you make arrangements to tell Merrill or to get word to Merrill that you would be gone? As I understand what you're saying, you made it, you asked Merrill to come get you right away, correct? Yes, yes. And before Merrill got there, you, you took another ride, right? Yes. So, so to your knowledge, Merrill was going to arrive and you would not be there, right? I wasn't giving that much thought at the time, okay. but I assume so, yeah. But your golf clubs would be with him, right? Yes. Uh, did you make arrangements with anybody before you hopped in that ride to get your golf clubs uh, back? No. I just told him I'm, you know, them. I need to get to the airport. Who drove you? A Hertz person. Just happened to see such a person out in the hotel area. They were arriving. Some, I guess, some clients with uh, some Hertz people. And when you when you went down from your room to the lobby, was um, you were going there to wait for Merrill? That or get a cab. Whichever came first. Yes. Were you able? Did you ask for a cab? Yes. Was there a line? They called for one. There was no cabs there. Um, did you go to the front desk to check out? Yes. Uh, and pay your bill? Mm, I don't think I paid the bill. No. It was paid by Hertz. Yes. So what'd you do at the front desk? I asked them could they call me a cab, and uh, and I asked for a bandaid. Hey. A bandage. Thank you. And who did you ask? Uh, some lady that was there, some lady that was there. Was there anything on your finger at the time? Yes. What? Toilet paper. Anything else? Blood. What'd you do with the uh, toilet paper? I guess threw it away. What kind of band-aid did the person give you? The band-aid. You put it on right there? Yes. Right at the front desk? I don't recall. It was either at the front desk or away. A lot of people were trying to check out. I may have walked over a little bit, or I may have done it at the front desk. I don't remember. And, remember. and where did you throw the toilet paper? Uh, I don't know. Not on the ground. Not on the floor. I'm sure. Maybe there was a thing for a, you know, cigarette smokers ashtray thing. It may have been there. Who um, who did you uh, talk to at the front desk? Which uh, whoever was behind the desk. You remember? No. Man or woman? I believe it was a woman. What Caucasian? I don't recall. Did, you, did she testify at court? I think she was, I think she was in town to testify, but I don't know if she ever got on the stand. Did you tell her you were in a hurry? Yeah. And asked her for a cab? Yeah. And she said none were available? No, she said she'll call for one. And then you went outside? Yes. And saw a Hertz person? Yeah. And what did you tell that person? I needed to get to the airport. Uh, what arrangements did you make to get your clubs back? At that time, none. Did you have any f further calls to Merrill the rest of that day? No. Uh, what did you do to get your clubs back? What do you mean? Did you ever get your clubs back? Yes. When? Tuesday, I believe. And ha uh, how did they come back to you? Evidently, when he got to the hotel, we were already gone, and he came to the airport and got him checked on the flight. The flight that you were on? I assume so, yes. 
What's the basis for what you just said? Um, he told me this the next day. You talked to Merrill the next day being Tuesday? Yes. And how did that come about? I was in my office uh, speaking with someone else, and Kathy had called him, or he called Kathy, I don't know which one. And, um, and Kathy told me he was on the phone, and I uh, apologized to him for how rude I was. I felt I was pretty rude to him when I called him that morning. What did you say to Merrill when you called that morning that was rude? I think that morning I don't think I was rude at all. The, the next day I wasn't rude. That morning I just said, I need to get out of here. And I need to get out of here now. And I think I was very abrupt and I was, I was rude. I was, it was not nice. You're talking about when you called him from the hotel to come get you right away. Yes. Did you tell him that your wife had been killed? No. Your ex-wife, I should say. Yeah, no. Gave him no explanation? No. The police but, said that they weren't talking for me not to say anything. Who told you that? Either Phillips or Lang or whichever one I spoke to that morning. You don't know who it was? I spoke to a few guys that morning. On the same call? No. More than one uh, person called you? No, I called home a few times. And spoke to the uh, police officers there? Mm, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> One for your side. Did, um, <clears throat> when you got on that airplane, um, you had no idea one way or the other whether your clubs were there? Didn't give it a thought. Did you make any arrangements uh, at all during the trip to the, uh, to the air airport to get your clubs? No try calling anybody from your phone or, uh, or anywhere else? For what? To get your clubs. No. You had all your other luggage with you, right? Yes. Did you check it at, at the uh, stand or did you take it on the plane with you? Took it on the plane. Everything else? Yes. Meaning the grip and Louis Vuitton? Yes. And the suit bag was in the Louis Vuitton? Yes. And anything else? Is that it? That's it. Um, when you got off the plane, uh, did you what did you do? You came to the curb. And was anyone there to pick you up? Yes. Who? Leroy Tapp and Kathy Randa. And where did they take you? To Rockingham. Okay. Now, when you, when they picked you up, did you have any discussion about your golf clubs and where no. they were? No. Okay. Did you later find out that they were on the same flight with you? Mm, I, well, I assumed they were. How? He said he got there before my plane left, and evidently the sky kept it. Done it. I don't know. Maybe it came on a later flight. I'm not sure. Well, when did you talk to Merrill next? On the next the, uh, day. Next day being what? The 14th? Yes. And you were at your office? Yes. What time was it? I don't know. In the morning? Mm, possibly. Midday, morning. And the purpose of your talking to Merrill was to apologize for being rude the day before? No, he was on the phone and I was in my office. I had just finished speaking to, for the first time, to Bob Shapiro. And I was in the office, and Kathy said uh, he was on the phone. And do you know why Merrill happened to be on your office phone? I don't know. Maybe Kathy called him, or he called Kathy. I, I actually, I left no explanation with these people, and maybe she was explaining to him, and you know, I now, don't know. Now, by this time uh, on the 14th, you uh, did not know where your clubs were, right? Correct. And had you thought about getting them back? No. You have no idea what time it was when this call with Merrill occurred? By midday, morning or midday, one or the other. Okay. And when Merrill then informed you that the clubs got on the plane? Yes. Okay. And then you hung up with Merrill, right? Yes. What did you then do to get your clubs back? To get my clubs back? Or, yeah. Did you ask someone to go get them for you? No. What did you do? I don't, I don't get it. What did well, I did do your at clubs that ever come back to your in your possession? Yes. How? I picked them up. When did you pick up your golf clubs? Uh, a little later. Who, who went with you? Bob Kardashian. Where did you leave from? My office. Was Bob with you at the office? Bob Kardashian, that is. Yes. Was he with you when you were talking to Merrill? I don't, I don't know. 
when you left your office, um, well, back up, did Merrill tell you where you could retrieve or where the clubs could be retrieved? No. Did you make any phone calls to determine where the clubs were? No. Did you have anybody else do so? No.